Acts chapter 16, now, if you miss this one, you shouldn't have been in this service. In Acts chapter 16, a demon can be cast out of someone and the person is not delivered. See? You can cast out a demon from somebody and the person is not delivered. Because casting out demons is not deliverance. But somebody cannot be delivered and you cast out demons from him. You didn't hear that. You can cast out a demon from somebody, but the somebody is not delivered. But when somebody is delivered, you don't cast demons. That he is delivered means there are no demons inside him. There's a difference between casting out demons and deliverance. Now, observe this scenario here. In fact, Mark 16, 18 to 19. Pay attention. Mark 16, 18 to 19. Please pay attention. This brother Paul. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. He came out the same hour. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers. Now, for you to understand this story, give me verse 16, 17 of the same Acts 16. Acts 16, 16 and 17. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a Did spirit of divination. Did you see the word divination. possessed? Possessed. Possessed. With a spirit of divination met us. And what was the reason for the divination? Read on. Which brought her master as much gain by soothsaying. So, this evil spirit can possess certain people that you call prophets, or you call vessels, or you call major one, or major three, or channel. Evil spirits possess them, and they speak things that wow you with the intent of making profit so it's a business enterprise between evil spirit and a man they agree that the evil spirit will give that man access to certain information about people that will flabbergast the people but the people will have to pay for it did you observe spirit of soothsaying Native doctors have it. All native doctors. All. All witch doctors. All native doctors. All of them are possessed with evil spirits. With the intent to make money. They are all business empires for the devil. All of them. So whenever you are consulting such people. Know that you are on your way to enrich Satan. And somebody said, but if it is Satan. How did he know? How wouldn't he know? Who caused the problem for you? It is the same person causing the problem for you you're coming to. So why will it be a rocket science for him to tell you the problem? When he's the source of it. And when you pay him the money, he will remove it and create another one. Satan never sets free. He only relocates problems. It is only Jesus that sets free. Only Jesus sets free. Satan never sets free. It's true that when you went, since he's the one that was behind the problem, he shifted it from neck problem to knee problem. Then you bring money. He removes the knee problem, make you feel like you're free in the midnight, splitting headache. You come back. He takes your focus from headache. He doesn't do sickness again. He touches your business. You come back. So you remain a perpetual slave. And he keeps shifting the goalposts so that you never know it is the same thing. That's why, that's why, you see, that's why the Bible says when the devil tempted Jesus, when Jesus rebuked him, he changed the focus. When Jesus rebuked him, he changed the focus. Jesus said, get it behind you, you stupid thing. You are busy playing around with my mind. You don't know I know who you are. And the Bible said the devil left him. The greatest undoing of Satan is for you to know him. Once you discover him, he is finished. And that's why he will fight you from coming to teaching like this. Because he knows that if you keep hearing this teaching, 
he won't be able to do you that thing again and that income is collecting from you will no more come am i teaching good here be sober be vigilant your adversary the devil goes about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour he goes about and we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil we know what he does we know what he's capable of doing i mean imagine paul enters a city in acts chapter 16 and one girl just begins to follow paul this man be the man of the most high that show us the way of salvation is that not correct it's correct paul is moving oh she's following him i'm prophesying if it is you now somebody do you i hear upon that's my name I hear Udeme. That's my mother. I hear Orukanam. That's my village. Yeah! They are finished with that. <laughs> they are finished with that. <laughs> How is your name and your village a revelation? Are you not a fool? How is somebody telling you your name, your mother's name, and your village, and that is a revelation? that empty please gather a little substance i beg you that's what exactly the girl was doing and that's where many of you get caught up so she went around doing that bible says she did it for two days brother paul is a very nice guy patient for two days the girl is following you around you know why it took time she was using it to advertise her business so that people will know that if she is telling the truth about Paul, when they have problem, they should come. It's marketing. Bible said the next day, I'm sure brother Paul came out that next day for to you know have having shocked in the spirit. Let God He came out charged. The Bible says when she started, Hiriama, Paul said, hey, stop that out. <laughs> the unclean spirit left her, and then she became normal. She could no more professor her master told her do it again and she said, i can't do it <coughs> do it again she said that man the thing he said the thing have left me <laughs> her masters that were making profit got angry and organized for paul and silas to be arrested and put in prison the evil spirit moved the government to arrest them and put in prison it is that encounter where paul even in prison prayed and the place shook and the same power of God brought them out of prison. Am I communicating here? Yeah, you must be able to discern. You must be able to discern when the spirit of God is moving and when an evil spirit is moving. They are not the same. And if you are born of God, you will know the difference. Are you in the building? The masters of the girl were operating the demon got angry. So, Paul stopped the operation of the demon in that girl. But yes, the girl was still in that city. Notice the girl did not become born again even though the demons were cast out of her she didn't become delivered you can cast out demons and the person is not delivered but if a person is delivered there are no demons to cast out am i teaching good all right luke eleven seventeen. let's take that one as the last scripture luke eleven seventeen. but he knowing their thoughts said unto them Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. Next. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils through Beelzebub. Next. And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. Next. But if I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. Next, pay attention now. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. Next. But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusteth and divideth his spoils. Next. 
He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. Next. Now pay attention, please. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man. When you cast out demons and the spirit is gone out of a man. He walketh through dry places. The spirit you cast out will go through dry places because no more accommodation. Because human bodies are accommodation for demons. Seeking rest and finding none. So since he can't find rest. He said. The demon says to himself. I will return unto my house when I came out. That demon is very wicked. He called a human being his house. I will return unto my house whence I came out. Yes. Next verse. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Now hold on there. When he cometh, he findeth the person clean, but nobody occupies him. That means the person is not delivered. Demons are cast out, but the person is not delivered because deliverance is a movement from one kingdom to another where you are now occupied but this guy has been delivered and christ has not entered him so he's not delivered so the demon now say i will go back to my house where i left put up the next verse pay attention then goeth he and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself this is the first time i'm seeing that word in the bible more wicked than himself i've not seen it anywhere else more wicked than himself yes and they enter in and dwell there yes and the last state of that man is worse than the first the last state of that man is worse than the first why because you cast out demons from a man that was not ready to be born again and nobody showed him christ or they showed him christ but he didn't want so the spirit will come back and say let me see so Christ is not inside. Uh -uh. Seven demons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of you come. So eight of them now will come back and enter. And take over that man. And the state of that man is worse than before. So it's better not to cast out demons if the person will not be born again. Because the guarantee that those demons will never come back is deliverance. What is deliverance? Receiving Christ into your heart. Deliverance is Christ entering a man because deliverance takes you out of the kingdom of darkness and translates you into the kingdom of his dear son is it clear so there's a difference between casting out demons and deliverance they are not the same the believer in Jesus is delivered who also hath delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son and what is in the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood what is redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins how according to the riches of his grace so the moment i receive christ and my sins are forgiven i am delivered and once i am delivered I can never be possessed. Once I am delivered, I can never be possessed. Why? Because deliverance puts on you the seal of the Holy Ghost until the day of Jesus. And such a person, nothing shall by any means, even if you eat food from shrine, it won't do you anything. Even if they bring food from shrine and you like it, take it and eat it. There's no need for economic waste. Eat it and give thanks. And on top of the food, speak in tongues. Neka tokabaya. Pull the chicken. The devil doesn't own anything. The earth is the Lord. Stand on your feet. That's all I've got for you in this house. And the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Oh, I feel like I'm teaching good in this service. I say, I feel like I'm teaching good in this service. If you're understanding, shout, I hear, I hear.